guys. So I just wanted to do my two and three week post-op update of my revision surgery. Um, sorry if this is a little bit over redundant and just repetitive, but I just want to explain so I don't get questions. Um, the reason why I had the revision surgery was because I was swollen for almost six months, which is not normal. And that's just how my body handled surgery. And so when my swelling started going down, my skin started sagging. And so my surgeon decided that we would just take some more skin out when I went in to have my lipo done because lipo was already part of the surgery. He just does it later. Okay, let's move on. I explained in my last video that it, it was just so much more intense than anticipated. I think the nurse that told me it was gonna be an easy recovery um, didn't know I was getting the lipo done. So, it was a lot more intense up front because of the lipo. Um, it was just a lot of bruising, internal bruising, every little move killed. Um, but it's a lot faster recovery. About two weeks is when I didn't need my pain pills anymore. Like I still need pain pills, but not the perks. It eased up at two weeks and um, yeah, my, my bruising significantly went away at two weeks post-op. And I am now three weeks post-op and I'm feeling great. I think the bruising is all pretty much gone. Um, I feel amazing. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get all emotional. People ask me if this surgery was worth it. And it really depends on yourself, your pain tolerance, and your situation as far as how bad your loose skin was and muscle separation whenever else I had really bad muscle separation really bad loose skin <laughs> my midsection was jacked it was crazy it was bad so it I would do this surgery over and over and over again knowing everything I know now I still would have done it it was a lot of money money that we don't have and so worth it though um, you know, we saved up and had to do credit cards for the revision and everything, but so worth it. Um, I'm 24. <laughs> I can't even imagine having to still deal with that stomach and not feel beautiful. <laughs> Gosh, sorry, this wasn't supposed to be a boo fest. I'm going to do a separate video on all the deep topics of the surgery though but I'm just I'm at the point where I am just so grateful I'm feeling fantastic that's where I'm at with three weeks post-op I am feeling amazing I get random aches and pains here and there and whatever else I don't want this video to be very lengthy I look like crap I don't even know why I'm recording and my battery's about to die so I'm gonna show you my tummy real quick I'm back I'll be back I'll be back <laughs> Okay, so here's my tummy. As you can see, I'm still really swollen. I'm getting this little bubble of swelling right here because um, this is where my drain was and it was removed and I was still getting um, fluid out of it and it's now closing up so I'm getting this little pocket of fluid. It actually goes away though and then comes back. So it is still getting stuff out. But anyway, <laughs> that's gross. So here's my tummy. Um, yeah. If you can look past all the stretch marks, I'm getting little baby abs. Um, I'm all deformed looking because this is just from my depression or depression, compression garment. But this is like my hip bone, like my hip bone is showing like, oh my gosh, it, it, I'm just feeling amazing. My swelling is hardly anything, but yeah, this is from my compression garment. That's why it looks all weird, but here's this side and this side. Feeling great, feeling good. I can actually lean over and not have a little pooch, which is amazing. And yeah. My camera's about to die, so we're just gonna kinda improvise. Um, 
yeah, that's the one big thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, where I'm not working out right now. Um, I'm really watching my diet. Halloween just passed. I'm not a saint. Of course, I indulged, but I'm just trying to really focus on it and be aware and whatever else. I think it's really paying off. Um, I've lost four pounds. Um, in the last three weeks, slowly but surely. That's kind of what I'm focusing on right now. That's how I'm doing. I don't know when I'm going to start working out again. I don't want to start up too soon and prolong my healing and uh, all that jazz. I don't even want to do that. I just want to feel good and whatever else. So that's where I'm at. That's how I'm doing. Thank you all for um, your continued support. I appreciate it. And yeah, that's pretty much it.